He was a barber who was loved in his community and he worked just as hard to keep children in safe places. But in the end, it was gun violence that took Rob Hannon away from his neighborhood. Now that barbershop ignites a new drive for young men and women in the neighborhood. CBS 2's Jermont Terry has been following this story for weeks. He reports tonight from Lawndale. At the corner of 16th and Pulaski, inside this west side barbershop, we find Danny Fields. I think it was a flyer. I don't know where, but I saw her just walking around, so I can't. The 16-year-old is one of a handful of youngsters who signed up for the Young Barbers program to get hands-on barber training before they're eligible to attend barber school. About barbering, but about the business and how you stay in business. Wow, really? That happened back in the day? Creative Scott started the program a few years back. You want to thank God that you're here today because some of us didn't make it. As these youngsters signed up to learn about a new trade, the reality, one of the biggest supporters of the Young Barbers program, Rob Hannon, is no longer here. Yet his spirit is just as bright as the lights in the remodeled barber shop where his life ended abruptly. But his love of the community continues. I said my prayer. And I lie here, Rob, pat me on my back. Keep going, Cree. Scott admits pressing on isn't easy. I, I, I think about Rob every day. It's especially harder knowing since this chair was riddled with bullet holes and the double murder happened in front of women and children back in July. Weeks later, there's no arrest. Of course, I want the community to be more involved into, you know, solving this, the case or whatever, but it don't seem like that's happening right now. To kind of give back to the community. Yet these business owners refuse to turn their backs on this West Side community, especially when 16 year old Danny looks at the alternative. Ain't nothing, really, ain't nothing really else to do, so might as well come here every day and see it. Guys to see it through, so I'm gonna have to see it through. In Lawndale, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News.